What's up, everybody? What's up, cat daddy? Ooh wee. Drop my mace, man. I'm talking to the man. The man got a dog. My mace dropped. <laughs> Let the dog shit. Don't pick it up. It's better than shit. Don't move back for 56 year man, dude. Yeah. Like I was talking yesterday, I was talking about the jab. I was saying if you hit a guy with three jabs, you might as well hit him with two jabs. And with a right hand, get the shit over with. The reason. The reason Floyd can stay so long in the ring and go the distance is because he has a good defense. You know, he don't end, he don't end the fight all beat up. But my, you know, I was always told get the shit over as soon as possible. If you gotta go the distance, go the distance. But he's not a guy, but he he doesn't go in there and look for knockouts. If it come, it come, if it don't, it don't. He don't go in there looking for knockouts. You know, he's prepared to go the distance. Most guys going in. And that's the thing, I like, like I be trying to tell you guys. You know, when a, when a boxer moves up in weight class, they do not take their punching power with them. They don't take their punching power with them. They usually fighting a guy, another guy that moved up just like them. But if they're fighting a guy that's natural at their weight class, their punch doesn't, uh, it, it, their punch hurts. But it's very unlikely that they'll stop the guy. Like, like when Penelope Whitaker moved him from 135, he knocking everybody out. 
moves up to 140, he's still knocking guys out, but not like he did at 140. Then he moves up to 147, and all his fights go the distance. He wins because he outboxes the guy, but he's not knocking him out like he used to. Felix Trinidad was a, he could have fought 140, I think, but he was a good 147. He had a good power at 147. Um, Miguel Cotto came from 135. Did he come from 135? Then 140. I'm not sure. I know he fought 140 for sure. And he had good knockout power. What's up? I'm in your way? Oh, okay. And then uh, who else? Like I said, when most guys move up in weight class, they don't take their punching power with them. And that's why they just start by. De, De La Hoya, 135, 140, 147. And then he fought Bernard Hopkins and got knocked out. Alright y'all, gotta go. Take it easy. Watch what you eat. Stop eating like you're going to your electric chair. Don't let your taste buds run your life.